cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a cancer for the end of August 2019? <laughs> Are you all in this space of needing to make a damn decision? If some of y'all choose your damn self. <laughs> Hey, boo head, if this is first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell the cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without the cussing. Because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? To the new subscribers, hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the family. We all are dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. However, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve. Posi vibes only over here. Hell yeah, I'm late, but I showed up, so it's great. All right. With that said, this video will actually extend from uh, the end of August, so from today until September the 15th. You guys, I am going to be traveling in the month of September. So you guys are going to see a bunch of different shit from Oka, okay? That you're going to be like, oh, Miss Girl is on top. Oh, Miss Girl is. Yes, Miss Girl got to get her shit and get her life, okay? Um, so with that said, I will be running a few reading specials because after September the 22nd, I'm going to cut it off, okay, up until, um, and I'm not going to be resuming back doing readings until October. So with that said, you guys, definitely get your reading in. Definitely be looking in the community tab for those reading specials. And I had to stay away for a little while because I got a little depressed looking at YouTube and seeing so many people using my shit. If you're going to use my shit and quote my shit. Credit my shit, okay? Other than that, get out my shit, okay? Let's get it, all right? So, that said, you guys, this will be for, oh, returning subscribers. Hey, family, did you miss me? Because I definitely missed y'all, okay? Um, It has been quite a damn journey. The month of August has been quite the busy one, and this girl has been hustling and bustling, as well as trying to bring balance to uh, the aspect of family. You know, I am a single mama, and so um, I'm kind of changing things around. The only readings that I will be doing same day going on, going here on out is emergency. So if it's not, you know, and the price differs with that. So guys, it's just really just trying to restructure. We're growing. I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. Things are expanding in my life, you guys, and I'm pretty sure if can't nobody else feel me, cancel can feel me because some of y'all need to make a decision on you moving the fuck away and stop worrying about what everybody else got going on. But we're going to talk about it, all right? So this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Cancer for the end of August going into the first half of September. You guys, um, <clears throat> thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the love, the comments, y'all, the readings, the, just the support period. I truly appreciate it from the most humblest space ever. Thank you, okay? Um, so we're going to get into it, all right? So we're going to start with your intuitive messages uh, for the end of August into the first half of September, okay? What I got for you all is over it, last straw, sudden movement, procrastination, guilt, unexpected clarity, perception, revisiting, inner child, I'm sorry, inner child healing, new home, final decisions, passive aggression, leaving behaviors behind, narcissists, reunions, divine intervention, closure, forgiveness, choices in love, self-love, trust yourself, new love, come on cancers, ending cycle, fast fortune, Come on. Final decisions. Career change. All right. So let's get it. That's for my bed best. My water bed best. That will be from now into the 15th of September. Okay. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the two of spades. Okay. So some of you all could definitely be needing to make a decision on which way to go. For some of you all, I feel like the overall... There's not an issue when it comes to movement. It's the actual direction within the movement. Which way do I go? Okay, so to clarify that, overall, I got the world card, okay, and the eight of wands. So some of you guys are um, finalizing cycles. You're closing out cycles to move into new ones. And, yeah, some of you guys are choosing yourself for a damn change. 
This could also have to do with career. I am hearing career transition. So some of you guys could be transitioning within career, which is going to require for you to move and start anew. And Spirit is saying you can't take this toxic shit with you. So you got to make a choice. Some of y'all to choose yourself. Others of you is to get out of this space of feeling as if you have to hold on to what uh, the last person, place, or thing did to you in order to move forward and trust the process to know that every situation and circumstance is not the same. Okay. So your angel message for the month, you guys. I say for the month. Well, from this last end until the middle of September, you guys, we got remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. OK, so for some of you all, just know that you are going to be protected. I am feeling the fear of the unknown. Some of you guys have a fear of the unknown. Others of you have a fear of speaking up for yourself because you're so worried about how it's going to affect other people during this time. If it's not your kids or your immediate family, what the fuck? Can God have a can God have God's job back, counsel? Please. Okay? Can the universe work that shit out and, and you and you walk in agreement and co creation with the universe instead of worry about everybody else's damn problem? Counsel, please. Please. Hmm. Hmm. There's a focus on the throat chakra. Speak your truths all of them. Okay? For some of you all, there's two conversations that's needed to be had, one for closure and one for clarity, okay? This is two different energies that I'm picking up. Some of you guys could, um, a fire sign, strong Leo, Sagittarius, the fire energy is very, very, very heavy on you all. Some of you guys could be ending cycles, possibly with air, earth, and um, some of you guys with fire signs, okay? Some of you guys could also be going into a new cycle of your life. So for some of you all who are already in existing relationships, I do see things going to the next level. So if you've been dating someone, for some of you all, you could be receiving some type of surprise engagement. We ain't a damn surprise no more. I just told you, eh? Sorry. Take it back. Act like it didn't happen. Let's go back. I didn't say that. I did. But I did. But I did it. Congratulations, counsel. Okay, so you guys, I'm also feeling this energy of information being withheld. Whatever it is that you've been waiting on, or you needed, I'm hearing missing pieces. Okay, so someone could, whatever missing piece of information that you've been waiting to get clarity on, you will be getting that clarity. I am here in second week of September. Okay, so some of y'all, this could be from now, or this could also be happening within the second week. For some of y'all, know why I heard 11, 9 11, 9 11. That's going to be important to someone. Some of you all are also, some of y'all could also be receiving um, or making contact with your spirit guides during this time. You're going through a rebirth and you're needing not to look at this space of solitude from a space of loneliness, but a space of really kind of getting in tune with yourself and turning inwardly and kind of like hushing the outside noise. Some of you all are trying to take. Some of you all are focused on taking initiatives on your own. Instead of waiting on someone to give you that validation that you need before moving forward, you're working on the aspect of procrastination and momentum. It's like I could dream forever. I can get up and get this shit done. Spirit is saying, get your ass up and get this shit done. Movement, movement, movement. Okay. Some of you all also may be uh, dreaming of like sacred geometric symbols. This could have to do with, uh, and there's a focus, you guys, on the throat and the crown chakra during this time. You guys have this inner this inner knowing and this overstanding. However, it's it, it's this aspect of sitting and waiting on something to occur. Some of y'all is afraid to move forward as well because you don't want to be the bad guy. Neither one of y'all do. So there's procrastination with ending the cycle, possibly with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or there's this. There's this, it's like an elephant being in the damn room and both of y'all is like Stevie Wonder to that bullshit. Like you, you just, it's, you can't help but notice. Okay. The intensity. Some of you guys are, I feel the energy of a lot of tension within your home. Somebody want to separate from another person, but they feel like that the other person doesn't have anybody or anywhere to go. And spirit is saying, <laughs> I should got some wine. I should buy some wine to the read. Some of y'all, you're gonna be quite surprised that when you thought somebody didn't have somewhere to go, um, some of y'all gonna find that they got two, three places. They just stubborn as hell. 
And some of y'all, this person is standing there to just get up under your damn skin. Just petty. Petty, petty. Petty, petty. Petty feels. Some of y'all is dealing with petty patties. And other ones is dealing with uh petty paws. Damn it. Crazy. Spirit is saying you, you need to turn inward. Trust yourself in whatever decision that you make. Because no way is the wrong way. For those of you who are getting the opportunity to... Those of you who could have had a tower moment in the around your birthday time, like on into late June, into July, and could actually be like healing and kind of um, kind of in the space of purging during this time or throughout the month of August, I definitely feel like a decision is going to be made to move forward. And you're going to be very happy when you do so because you got love coming in just like that as soon as you do. But I feel like your destiny, happiness, your fulfillment that you seek is not within the space where you're trying to stay. Okay? Some of y'all got to make a decision between two new people. And some of y'all is someone from the past and someone new. Next angel message you guys got is moon cycles. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Okay? So for some of you all, this is about... What it is that you're trying to manifest. Only focus your intent on what it is that you wish to see. Uh, a lot of you all, a lot of you all may need to practice a lot of like visualization exercises or um, some type of like centering exercises when it comes to meditation. Because I feel like some of y'all, some of y'all having a hard time focusing on meditation when meditating or grounding or something about the focus and the intent. Some of you all also may have an actual shifting of your menstrual cycle, okay? This is having to do with, um, some of you all, this is having to do with some type of, like, sacral, huh. Some of y'all just have to do with some type of, like, sacral, I don't want to say exchange, like, sacral activation. Some of y'all sacral chakra may be overactive, Okay. Some of y'all may not be able to sit your ass down. There's a need for you to channel that energy into the things that you're needing to get done. Instead of doing everything for everybody else and putting you on the back burner. The spirit is saying, leave that behind. Again, focus on the throat chakra. For some of you all, you're the catalyst to someone else's awakening. So you're having to release a situation. Some of you all are going to receive confirmations in the form of white doves, white swans, or some type of like white cranes. Others of you, you're receiving, some of y'all are receiving uh, messages from your actual ancestry. I mean, from your actual ancestral lineage. Like some of you guys may be dreaming of a great grandfather or a grandfather communicating with you in your dreams, but you don't really know what they're speaking of. Someone could have also lost their mother. Um, some of y'all I'm connecting with a few people. Someone lost their mother in the month of March. My condolences, baby, but I am getting this energy of a mat like a, a matriarchal energy trying to come through. Someone could have lost their <clears throat> mother in the month of March. Others of you, this could have to do with a mother figure guiding you. Somebody else lost their mother last September in 2018. Some of you all also are mediums, and you're actually, and some of y'all also have children that are mediums. During the next moon cycle, <clears throat> for some of y'all, I'm hearing new moon. For some of you ladies, your menstrual cycle may be may shift around the new moon. So for those of you who had a full moon menstrual cycle, it may be shifting around the new moon. A <laughs> complete whole different time of the damn. <laughs> The universe and Mother Nature play all day. This has to do, I'm here with co-creation. And also, this also is assisting someone. Someone was trying to manifest some type of like fertile energy or fertility energy. Somebody who thought that they couldn't have a baby going to be finding out that they're pregnant. Congratulations. Smoke a lot of the kids. Miracles happen every day. Focus only on what it is that you want. Your intention. Okay? So let's get it. Here, what message do you have? My oh, beautiful cancer. Can't remove this. Okay, so we going into new cycles. A lot of you all are traveling again. Some of you all actually is going to be receiving some type of uh, clarity 
from a fire sign I'm hearing. Very still Sagittarius. I actually heard strong Sagittarius. So what can my cancers expect in love from now into the middle of September? Oh, okay, we following. All right. So yeah, some of you guys are going to be um, yeah, some of you guys feel as if a situation possibly again with Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio is not moving forward, and you're just ready to kind of keep your options open. You over the bullshit, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio who, and, this, and for some of y'all, this could be someone from your past. This could also be um, a past life soulmate. Some of you guys, this person is not wanting to open up, but I feel like some of y'all have lost interest and you're ready to move forward, or you could have met someone new in the midst of this person deciding on if they want to get their shit together. But it's good. A little more, it's a lot of Mars energy connected to that. So some of y'all could also been, could have been dealing with an Aries person, okay? Others of you, some of y'all have a Leo that's coming into your life. I feel like for some of you all, this is a reconciliation where well, this person possibly was kind of in their head and overthinking the situation and taking a leap of faith. Now this person is ready to open up. There's a lot of healing around a situation having to do with the fire sign. For some of y'all, this has to do with someone having some type of healing, some type, having some type of recognition. And healing some type of issue around a matriarchal figure, a mother figure, okay? For some of you all, someone is going to finally agree to go into that damn rehab, that rehabilitation, or that therapy, or those counseling sessions, okay? Because someone also wants to kind of rebuild and renew a relationship. They kind of want to show you better than they can tell you what they're willing to do to keep the relationship, okay? Yeah, for some of you all, some of you all are moving towards commitment. Come on now. Some of you guys could also, uh, some of y'all need to choose between possibly a Libra and a Gemini. Others of you needed to choose between a Leo and a Libra. This could also, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius and needs to choose between either yourself and a fire sign or yourself and an air sign. I feel like this person could be committed. You could have children with this person, okay? I do feel that, yeah. Some of y'all could also be finding out some type of truth and clarity uh, in court, okay? So for those of you who are dealing with legalities, I do see justice being in your favor. But for some of y'all, justice is going to be in your favor if you turn your damn cup away and take a leap of faith and give it to this damn new person that's trying to come into your life and move away from this person whose behavior has been... For some of y'all, somebody ain't going to get... They're they, they not doing right and they ain't going to get right. I, de I definitely feel like, especially if you're connected to this damn Scorpio energy, some of y'all are dealing with an Aquarius person, and I feel like even though you love that person, you're just not really willing to motherfucking juggle roll the damn dice on if they're going to be cool to come out of a bag on your ass again, because for some of you all, I feel like some of y'all could have actually taken some type of financial hits regarding this person. Others of you are going to be finding out truth and clarity or some type of deception will be revealed that could have occurred in the past regarding the Taurus and an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or some type of commitment that you have. Yeah. Some of y'all could, uh, some of y'all are, are going to also be finding out that if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, okay, so I see a few scenarios here. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who is married, okay? I feel like. This person could have been telling you that they were going to leave their spouse. Some of y'all are going to find out that that person is not leaving their spouse because they have an issue with letting things go just like your ass do. This is where y'all mirror each other, okay? Some of you all, this person could be tied to a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person could also be tied to a Leo person. But some of y'all, this person is tied to a Taurus. I feel like this person is needing to, instead of... Speaking their whole truth, they're just giving little to the situation because their heart really does want to separate from this person. However, they could also be holding on due to children, okay? And for some of you all, yeah, okay. Some of y'all also have somebody's ex on the outskirts kind of looking and hoping and waiting to see if you're going to hook up with this person because they could have just ended a cycle with them, okay? So some of you guys... Uh, if you were dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, this could be the individual who's kind of in their head about taking that leap of faith and finally ending a cycle, okay? For some of you all, this could involve an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you all are really needing to set clear boundaries or straight up. Some of y'all need to set boundaries when it comes to dealing with the Leo. I feel like this person is kind of holding back their emotions. They're afraid to be vulnerable with you because this person has been hurt. However, they watch everything that you're doing. They 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 really they watch your social media. They look at everything that your ass is posting and doing. Okay. 
some of you all could have been um, having some type of controversy with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you could be committed with who's having some type of outside distractions trying to come in from an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who they could have put you in a third party with in the past and karma came back and bit this person in the ass because it looks like a child could have been created out of this illness. <clears throat> Matters not, Cancer got new love. So you got choices and decisions to make, okay? And either way that you go, either you're going to be in this space or completely feeling as if you were backstabbed or, you know, just like walked all the fuck over. Like somebody really killed you, destroyed you on the inside. Or you're going to end up doing this shit to somebody because they've been doing it for you for quite, doing it to you for quite some time. Some of y'all can't sleep. You're having a hard time. Letting something or someone go, moving away from someone. Some of y'all could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some of you all, you could, some of y'all could not be in communication with this other water sign. This person could have moved away from you to go start something new, possibly with the Gemini or another water sign or a fire sign. Some of you all could also be in your head or, or somebody's avoiding the ending with the fire sign. Who's been very defensive towards you because this person is wanting to move forward to either another fire sign or Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. Yeah. Someone feels this could be you or another person. If you're dealing with an earth sign, this person feels or you could feel like this person could have abandoned you. Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign that wants to come back in, but this person left you at your at your worst. Some of you guys are feeling as if I don't know if this is even worth investing in, you know. Are you going to be faithful? Are you going to treat me with respect? Are you going to be willing to open up and communicate with me? Not only will we get upset and shit get to popping off, you know. I definitely feel like some of you guys have a very fast new beginning rolling in. <clears throat> some of y'all could be cutting off a of Virgo. Others of you, there could be light being shed. Um on a situation having to do uh, with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, as well as um, how they feel as far as the relationship, wanting to offer something stable. I feel like for some of y'all, one person wants a stable relationship, this home, this family, this fulfillment, and another person, even though they want that, if it's like this wrestling with the ego that they're doing with themselves that makes them pull back. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who just self sabotage. It's easier to fight you or run away from a situation than to actually get to a resolution. This person has communication issues that they could have inherited from their mother. God, this is deep. Got me up in here doing therapy sessions and shit. Yeah, some of you guys are very passionate about an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo, and this person is coming to coming through very, very, very secure, solid offer. But you're gonna have to release somebody who could be an air sign from your damn path. Some of you guys are being defensive towards the sign of Gemini. This person wants to come in and they want to transmute this cycle with you, but you like hell no. Okay, cancel like no. All right, so let me break this down in elements because <clears throat> I want to make sure I, got, I hit everybody, okay? So some of you guys, if you're dealing with water, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, some of you all have a new love, okay? You could choose to choose someone from your past or you could choose to walk away completely from your damn past and choose new, which is the option I see some of y'all going towards, okay? Some of you all are connecting with someone who you have children with who could also be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And even though there's a lot of love in that situation, there's a whole not, not a whole lot of trust in the situation because someone is a bit insecure. They're afraid to be by themselves. They're afraid to grow the fuck up and have to do the right thing. So they always want to leave one damn foot in the door and another foot outside the damn door because they don't really trust. They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of what could happen going forward. So they choose to stay in the right here, right now, scary ass space. And Cancer, I see a lot of you guys walking away from that. And as soon as you walk away from that shit, then new love comes and smack you in the face. Okay? All right? This could, this is also some type of past life cycle for some of you all. All right? So let's see if you're dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, some of y'all could actually be finding out something about an air sign online. I feel that it's going to cause you. It's going to it's going to start a fucking uproar. Some of y'all could also be arguing with a, a younger person 
that could be connected to your spouse. This could be someone from your spouse's past who they failed to realize, who they failed to uh to inform you that they were still talking to and dealing with in conversation, having conversations with. And I feel like it's kind of going to put you in your head. But some of y'all, I feel like this is the cat, that, this is the straw that broke the camel's back because some of y'all have already been like hesitating, making a decision. And it's because I feel like with this air side, this is the situation where I feel like somebody didn't want to be the bad guy, but both parties are in mutual agreement that it's time to cut this shit off because it's stressful. You don't sleep. You don't sleep, but some of y'all, you're in this space of feeling as if you got to be on damn guard or on defense because both of y'all want to mutually let this shit go. It's just like, it's like you're waiting on this person to come in and tell you some shit you already know. And for some of you all, you needed to speak your damn truth when it comes to dealing with the near sign because I feel like for some of y'all, you've been allowing someone's little sneaky shit. It's like, you know, that someone's doing something possibly because you've been watching. You've been watching, you watching, so you know the truth. But you're waiting on someone to tell you some shit again that you already know, but because you know the truth, you in this space. So by the time you give it to this person, like this here, you get what I'm saying? This person feel like they not already got because I definitely feel like if you're dealing with the sign with, with an air sign, some of y'all gonna cut this person quicker than they can blink their motherfucking eye. Some of you all. But some of you all are dragging your feet on making a decision because you feel bad or there's a sense of remorse for this person, okay? If you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Some of you all also have a new beginning coming in work. Hmm. Some of y'all got a new beginning coming in love, new love. Some of y'all going to be finding out that your ass is pregnant, too. But you got a new beginning. Happy uh, Congratulations, Blue Mocha Love the Kids. Some of y'all got a new beginning coming in love and in finances. However, it's going to be when you choose to cut somebody the fuck off and choose to be by your damn self, okay? Some of you all, um, some of y'all, somebody want to go to the courthouse and put a ring on it because they like it, cancer. That's what they want to do. They like it. Some of y'all didn't even know you was like, listen, sis, I didn't know I was ready. Shit, listen, you're definitely dealing with a soulmate. I forgot to put that to the side of my bed, y'all. There's a lot of cards up here. Make sure I got all of the, all my fire. Nope, there we go. Okay. So, put them in order. Cause I, know I just gotta have the order. I just noticed this. We got the king and queen of rods out here, okay? So some of you all, this person who you're dealing with is your match, okay? So some of you all who are in healthy relationships, especially if you're in healthy relationships tied to um, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if things were already going a bit different, or someone was kind of... Um, in the past, kind of defensive award, the idea of commitment based on what everybody else was saying and around. Now this person is wanting to move forward, but this person is wanting to move forward. This person is kind of wanting to communicate with you. Hey, baby, <laughs> listen, let's go ahead and do this damn thing because I ain't getting no young in your ass any of this shit. Can't nobody else put up with my shit like you do, so let's just do it. Good shit, cancer. Some of you all, I'm also reading this too, though. Some of you guys could be internally conflicted about actually moving forward to moving forward in some type of commitment with the fire sign because you're really tired of the fighting with this motherfucker, okay? Somebody, I feel like somebody has been coming in and out of your world, and even though there's a lot of passion with this person, there's always a need for you to end up feeling as if you got to be on the guard, just kind of like, what the fuck your ass is going? What you going to do next? What's coming next? I got to watch you, okay? So some of you all, you just like, you know, I want to take a leap of faith, but I'm not sure if it's safe, okay? I'm going to clarify this major arcana. That's why I'm separating this, if y'all ain't know. <laughs> okay, so if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Vertigo. I realize I got a lot of major arcana on the board, too. If you're dealing with an earth sign, for some of you all, you're going to decide to take this damn, take this damn offering from this King of Pentacles, honey, which I feel like is going to move slowly. I feel like in the midst of you releasing yourself, okay, because this was the first one. So after you leave someone out in the cold, in this space of you feeling as if, you know, well, this motherfucker, I know they wasn't no good. I knew I shouldn't have been fucking with them. I knew I couldn't build. You know, some of you guys are feeling as if you are in this space of lack. But then the universe comes and say, boom, here's something brand new. You finally got it. For some of you all, this has to do with a job I'm here. So this could have to do with the career. 
making a decision to leave one thing that you're not really passionate about, but you're just showing up for a paycheck. It's like spirit is saying, choose passion over the paycheck, baby. And it's going to flourish very quickly. You will stand on your own and be independent just fine, but you got to leave this lack mindset behind. Okay? And for some of you all, you're going to be on your little own. Do, 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 do. Oh my shit, making my way downtown, walking fast, holding birds in a moment. Do, 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 do. Okay? Then this person comes in, moving out slow, not even telling you, I'm a whole king out here, okay? But I feel like you, you coming together with you. It brings this boss up. For some of you all, this could have been someone who you left out in the cold. Okay? Now this person wants to come in and start something new the right way. Because they now know, cancer don't need me. And now cancer know that I know, that we know, they don't need me. So I better come with it and come right and offer them something solid. So some of y'all kick somebody out your damn life as a damn night. Now they want to come back as a king and offer you this beauty, this benevolence, this abundance. Some of y'all is a damn tourist I'm here. Other than you, it's a Virgo. All right, so let's get it. Cancer overall. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. I mean, I know I know what to do. I kick these motherfucking swords out my damn way. And just bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop out these ropes. But I just want to stay here, sir. Okay. Because I'm afraid that I won't have anymore. I'll be in this space of being alone. Why is the world card here for Cancer Spirit? Just advice. Why is the world card here for Cancer? Yes, Cancer. Get your ass up. Be real with yourself. Because be real with yourself with this damn world card. Some of y'all are definitely cutting. Some of y'all is cutting people. You pulling out your damn sword, letting the person know what you deserve in order for things to move forward, okay? So some of you guys, you actually are this damn, you are the tower moment. Listen, <laughs> this is what we ain't going to do, all right? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers card here? Why is the lovers here? Come on, it jumped out. Yes, yes. Some of you all, this is acknowledgement, possibly from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini. Some of you all, there is a lot of passion in this union, and it is divinely covered, okay? Some of you all, I am here, and this could also be your other half, your yang, um, your yang, okay? So, your twin flame. Life has been shed where there was once a time where you were aware of the union, but another person wasn't. Things are actually shifting. This person has undergone some type of transformation, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys are kind of in your head about completing the cycle with the Virgo here, okay? Others of you, there is light. There is some type of clarity coming to get you out of this space of anxiety, unknowing, unawareness, okay? Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Yes, bitch. Yes. Listen, because... You have something new. Commitment is knocking at your damn door. Others of you, somebody wants to run your ass to the courthouse. Let's go get married. Let's do it. Some of y'all, it's a fire sign. Others of you, it's a Taurus. Why is the food card here? Hmm. Aries, if you're dealing with an Aries, Aries want to work on it. Somebody's going to be moving forward as well. Somebody actually, some of y'all is going to take the leap of faith to move forward. Fuck it. I'm going to start over and I'm not afraid to. I'm going to take this leap of faith because what else can I, what else, what else, what else is there from here? Where else can I go but up? Okay. Justice. Some of y'all is coming to the coming to the conclusion. Yeah, some of y'all is wanting to be out this damn marriage. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm tired. I'm bored, G. Some of y'all are dealing with a damn uh water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you could be dealing with the Libra. Why is the strength card here? I just realized, y'all, we got Gemini here, Virgo here, Aries here. Leo here, Libra here, Cancer here, Taurus here. You let me know who the hell y'all dealing with. If you're dealing with the sign of Leo, this person is a soulmate. Some of you guys are having the courage to withhold and withstand the waters, okay? And just go with the flow in a soulmate relationship, but definitely still set clear boundaries with this person. Let them know it's not okay. Why is the chariot here? Yeah. The five of spades here. Some, for some of you all... Some of y'all, you're insecure about something that occurring before you even give it a chance to occur, okay? For some of you all, if you're dealing with the sign of Leo, things will things are going to kind of balance themselves out after a conversation is had. 
There needs to be some type of communication. I told y'all before, communication is not the most important C. Comprehension is. Did that motherfucker understand you? Did he understand the words? Or did she understand the words that was coming out of your mouth, counsel? How you know? Make him repeat it, okay? Nobody got time for that. The uh, the Wheel of Fortune. I got the Four of Hearts, the Seven of Hearts, yeah. So for some of you all, Spirit is saying laying this situation to rest. Actually healing the root foundational issue of this fear of, you know, not wanting to be left behind or this fear of you not having any options or not letting this person go or this fear of who could be this person's options if you let this situation go. Some of y'all is holding on to a situation unhappy because you don't want this person to be with their ex or vice versa. Uh, you could even know someone who they are connected with from the past. Don't want to lose. Somebody doesn't want to lose. Hmm. Overall energy for cancer. Yeah. I see you guys actually completing the cycle. Some of y'all may be seeing 444. Others of you actually may be seeing 999 having to do with completion, support being foundational, expansion coming to bring you, uh, expansion coming to be the um, a positive effect on, on that foundation, stable energy coming in. A lot of you all are seeing 555 five, five because you already know what the hell you're supposed to be doing. However, you're choosing to wait and see what happens. The spirit is saying you are the damn tower. What are you waiting for? You're delaying yourself. Others of you, the inevitable is kind of going to complete itself. Some of you all are ending cycles when it comes to allowing other people to tell you what you need to be doing, how you need to be moving. You're going to make a stand for yourself and in doing so, not only are you going to get what it is that you want out of love, but you're going to be fulfilled in abundance as well. Show they ass better than you can tell them, counsel. But for some of y'all, this comes with movement. Finding that harmony within the self. To not be afraid to jump off the cliff. Jump, counsel. It's safe. I promise. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys from now into the middle of September. I pray that this resonates. I love you all so very much. If you need a personal, remember, I'm cutting it off on the 22nd, so y'all get that in. Love y'all. Bye, babies.